Welcome into Wager Talk TV. We're talking NFC East, NFL. We got the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. We got the total at 49, Dallas Cowboys minus three at home. I'm joined by Teddy Covers and Gianni the Greek, two heavy hitters in the industry. Uh, Teddy, starting off with you, man. This is a Sunday night game. A lot of tickets written on this game. You interested in getting involved in the, in the Eagles and Cowboys? Yeah, yeah. I think there's a, a play to be made here. And, you know, when we think about the game, Let's start with this. Uh, the number one factor right now has got to be the injury report. You know, these are both teams that are banged Dang up beyond God. belief. And I want to know how healthy the Dallas offensive line is. Uh, to me, of all the injury issues, that's number one. Because if Dallas's offensive line isn't healthy, I'm not playing the Cowboys. All right. Cowboys receiving core, banged up beyond belief. Eagles secondary, banged up beyond belief. Eagles receiving core, banged up significantly and everybody right now questionable partial participant couldn't participate we don't know exactly who's going to play i want to know at least a little bit more who's going to play although from early indications it looked like philly's secondary might be healthier than it was last week and that makes a big difference we saw what happened against minnesota heck they make Kirk cousins look good mm -hmm. you know so uh if you're going to back the eagles here you do want uh, at least something of an improvement in the secondary, whether it's uh, Darby or Mills or whoever's going to be uh, for Philadelphia back, potentially both those guys. Um, but this feels like a field goal game, doesn't it? You know, it's a divisional slugfest, heavyweight. You know, you talk about me and Johnny being heavyweights. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys mm -hmm. and the two favorites in the NFC East. It's a heavyweight match on Sunday night. And in the type of game that you expect to be relatively close, in general, I'm more interested in taking three than I am laying three, and I don't know that three is going to be there by kickoff. There, is a, there has been a fair bit of sharp interest in Philadelphia early in the week, and I think that is definitely injury report related. Bet, betting key numbers is always important. It, it's showing us with the odds makers at three here, Gianni. Are you interested in a side or a total? Yeah, and that's a great point. A lot of times you're better off passing if you miss a certain number than actually betting it because you're – paying juice now without even having an edge you're mm -hmm. paying vig on a coin flip and if you win it's just good luck or if you lose it's bad luck um with this game i haven't bet it and what teddy touched on is is key that without the injury report this far out it's hard to take a position but with that said um immediately i look to the dallas side simply because this is the nfl and if there's one thing we know, and Marco says it all the time, is no team's ever as bad or as good as they look in every, any one single week. And more importantly, we know the NFL market's extremely efficient, corrects itself quicker than most. And when you look at the Dallas side over the last couple weeks, they appear like a team no one wants to touch. There's not much to like about Dallas over the last three weeks, correct? Well, I, I mean, mean the, the narrative is they've given up on the coach, the Teammates aren't talking to each other. Sure. They're walking by the coach, not even shaking his hand. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of bad narratives coming out of Dallas. Jason it's Garrett's not positive. Seat, well, I mean, Jason Garrett's seat's a lot hotter than Doug Peterson's yes, right now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And because of that, it makes me pause. Because if anything, if that is the case, I think Eagles coming in is actually a positive. Because as a player, you want to win in spite of your coach, not for your coach. Meaning, here come the Philadelphia Eagles. There's that rivalry between Dallas and Philly. I know. I grew up in Philadelphia. <laughs> we do not like each other. I went to an Eagles game when both teams real quickly were 4-4. Four and four. Uh -huh. Probably 1991-92. They were both 4-0, excuse me, week 5. Both 4-0 Monday Night Football. And they had a bash Dallas tent. Well, you pay 10 bucks and they give you a baseball bat, <laughs> you get to go in there and just smash Dallas memorabilia for like two <laughs> minutes, I swear to you. So these two teams do not like each other. And that's why I think if there is that inner conflict with Dallas, this may be one of those games where it, you kind of win in spite of your coach. Where if it was like Washington coming to town, right. you may be like, you don't care all week, you're not practicing, you don't like your coach. So. If you get embarrassed, who cares? He's getting embarrassed more than you are. Um, he's going to lose his job before you do. So for me, that's the only reason I, you know, not contrarian, kind of contrarian, but I, I fear that this may be one of those spots where Dallas actually shows us the first three weeks of the season as opposed to the last three weeks of the season. I like it. Great stuff. Gianni, follow him on Twitter at Greek underscore gamblers. His work at Wager Talk. Dot com. Also, Teddy Covers on Twitter at Teddy underscore Covers, sportsmemo.com. Guys, remember, $2 Tuesday 
every Tuesday. Get the hottest handicapper's best bet for just $2 at both wagertalk.com and our sister site, sportsmemo.com.